There we go. Now I hit, got, got it. it. All righty. My name is Dr. Sharna Wolverton Sihan, and I'm very excited to be with Robert Stevens tonight. This is a very small, intimate group regarding an upcoming meeting that we have in Baton Rouge, Louisiana in April the 17th through the 19th. This has been a minute since Bob's been in the area, mm. um, but uh, really super excited to have him back specifically at this location from the minute that I met Joanne and walked in there I was just like oh my god I saw Bob there and that was what a year ago ish I think when I met you Joanne I was like and I think I even said you have to have Bob Stevens here you did <laughs> so um Miss Wanda is a dear friend um Nancy of course is here Angie I don't know there's no names to the I'm here it's me it's the oh, compass hey. is me for some reason. <laughs> oh, hey, Angie. Glad you're here. Hey, Angie. Angie. I can't see you, but I know you're driving. Um, so without, I'll give you a little background. Robert is a, just a God sent. I had said no. Um, <laughs> because it's bigger than that. There's no words. I choose words to describe uh, the intervention that God had that I, that we created. I, I felt like when I met him. I was remembering him more than I was meeting him for the first time. It was very emotional and it's been uh, an upgrade and an upgrade and upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Most of you who know me know that he has been intricately a part of my health um, reverse engineering situation. Um, my, my love of my life came back. Um, I remembered my love, which caused my sphere to shift, which caused my first love to come back. Um, I mean, I guess I'm my first love, but my my twin flame, my soulmate, whatever you want, you choose to call it, my my Brian. Um, and through so many other things with my children, I'm gonna get upset. I'm like, I'm happy, sad tears of how he's just been such a part of my life. He, he married Brian and I, um, he's worked with my kids specifically and just, I've seen him in multiple conferences now that we've done across America and online and in person. And he has, he's just got these tools that I've never seen so far with any other group. And I've definitely tried all the things. Um, there are some really great tools out there, of course, you know, oils, crystals, all, you know, everything works and conscious language, body language, and this upgrade system that he has. Um, I've never heard anything about this before, and I've never seen results so quickly and so permanent. Um, you can spend all kinds of money chasing whoever and talking to whoever. Um, but, and I did that for 15, 20 years and didn't see anything happen, work with him for two, three minutes. And I'm like, my whole life changed and I'm not exaggerating. So um, I'm very, very specific with my words. And I really do mean minutes at times. I think many, many times things have this com just completely changed. Um, so for him to be in our place, in our city, in our region, it's a really big deal. Um, I'm inviting you guys here. He was very, very generous to give us some time tonight. So you can maybe see a little bit about who he is and tell others to come to this meeting. Um, but without further ado, Robert, tell us a little bit about you and whatever you choose to say to this group tonight. It's so funny because I got all these comedic things to say. So first of all, you said everything. <clears throat> you did a great job. It, anyway, um, so um i was born a you know the 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 jerk you know i was born a, a poor black man is the white guy doing the, the movie the jerk so i usually start with that so dr chanel i met her at um, um highest potential the first one we did uh, marcella von harding my co-presenter she led it uh asked me to demonstrate she goes i'd like you to work with dr chanel so and i just met you like five minutes before on the floor right with anyway so with your former partner and um, your non-partner, I'll put it that way. And um, so you came up and I'm sharing with you. And, and it's so funny because I'm, I'm whatever I'm doing, I'm translating, whatever, whatever. And you go, I didn't know this existed. And I'm looking around going, 
what? And she meant what I was sharing with her because she she was like, I didn't know this existed. So um, a couple of things, doing a class like this, and I just completed this, a two and a half day class, we just got done with one. It was $4,000. We're doing this for, for 222. Why am I doing it for 222? Because God said to, number one, my God in me or whatever. I didn't, you know, I didn't get a phone call, but that's my heart said. Um, second of all, we have a new system called My Word Made Flesh. It's moving into the title of this called Quantum Thriving, Conscious Language, Quantum Thriving Technique. And it uses our, our language skill. It uses body, body language is huge. That means big. Um, and the in the nutshell, doing a live event, people will come in. And once I get to demonstrating, which Charnel has asked me to do some tonight, so we'll see what happens. The, the biggest challenge I discovered in, I choose no one, 15 years ago, I finally got, oh, what our challenge is, is fear of being made wrong or judged. And that happened from, not I'm not talking religion, I'm talking scripture like quantum physics. That happened at the fall from grace. We ate from the fruit. This is a metaphor now. We ate from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge or thinking of good and evil and fell from union and or grace as an eternal being of light. We came to earth. And how many get that? How many have been walking around in shame, blame, guilt, right, wrong, good, bad, fear of what others would think? You know, how many are, you know, we're way maybe better than others, but how many still get that? So when I demonstrate languaging and offer a shift, what I'm doing in the beginning is helping people move from I said it wrong if I'm offering something and they're finding word patterns. And do I say it right? We're going to move from that into neither one is right and wrong. Like the word want means lack. It means to desire without having. So somebody might speak and they might go, I want. No. Okay. And they might feel that's wrong. And then I choose or I claim or something is right. They will not get a victory on that because they stay in right and wrong. So what I'm in the middle of it, with this book and our tour and everything is helping people realize these are just upgrades. You don't have to have something wrong to upgrade. And it's one of my favorite words. I mean, how many have a computer that you've upgraded 15 times and it works fine? Yes. So upgrade is a real clean thing. And then, so we bring and languaging, a bunch of other codes and body language and body language tells the story. And so many people would, you know, they might scratch their face and they go, Oh, I'm scratching my face. And yeah, you, did you go to hell? No, you didn't go to hell. You just scratched <laughs> your face, and they're going, "Oh my God, don't move!" I'm, oh, oh, I, I said no, I, whatever. So this right wrong thing is ray cray crazy. Crawfish, kind of close to where you guys are. All right. So anyway, so <clears throat> what I do is I come in and I start and I share, and we create agreements of seeing perfection, of voting victory. So the individual and I that's my job to help. That, and Charnel, do I help people feel secure in the middle yes, of it? Yes, absolutely. Yes, 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 for yeah. sure. And it's it's a gotta. It's not just an option. Meaning, you know, like I'm a commitment to it. So I carry that we're gonna. Everyone votes victory. We see perfection. Pretty soon, every signal that the person is digging and scratching, where the individual might, oh my God, I I scratch my shoulder, or I rub my nose, or whatever. This fear of whatever they're, they're wrong. Every signal in the body, whether it's a symptom going on you've had for 30 years, or whether it's a current digger scratch, whether it's a repeating pattern in your life, inside of every contraction is a miracle. Yes. Every single time. And we, I'm not just going to address that, oh, you have a miracle inside of that, and they go, oh, thanks for sharing. We're not doing that. I'm the kind of guy that goes, if we can do it, let's do it right now. Yes. And so yeah. starting and, tonight. Yeah. And Literally. and li and I'm I'm building the context for you now. So what'll happen is whatever somebody's got going on, I will ask a question. I won't tell them anything. I want to ask other than share what to do. So I recommend all of you, if we're going to demonstrate this tonight, if I'm going to show you how this works, and Charnel <laughs> can do it too. Um <clears throat> and you can and this you can master this. This is so cool. I mean, even if you don't have agreement to translate. A sacred body language or someone all of you will know how to vote victory in your life you will be able to see through every contraction into the expansion it is 
You become a transformation. You become a miracle manifesting machine. Anyone? How many like the idea of being a miracle manifesting machine? One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. Yeah, like, uh, some voted twice, but you computer. get to do that here. I love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you, my dear. All right. So she just got done eating. She brushed her teeth. She's ready to go. She brushed her hair. She's ready. All right. So. <laughs> This is so, I uh, call it sacred body language translation. Charnel, is this stuff sacred? Yes. Beyond, and we're going to, the person will say things that they didn't have any guard for. Their body language will give signals, but it's, and this is just the coolest thing ever. Every signal, every situation in life, every problem in, the, let's say this is a problem. Every inside of every problem is a solution every single time and so i don't even honestly i read eyes i do all this i call it bio optical -ography. we're going to bring our camera it's one of the coolest things ever um that's when charnel when i did the little um I, can i will you tell a story real quick or do they know it already um they don't i don't think maybe nancy but um basically i was i do who said oh yeah that's true um i was diagnosed with the c and and not COVID. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. And um, we uh, went, I was invited to go to a bio-optic calligraphy training, which I was really choosing to have a yes for, but I was actually on the fence because I had four doctors here in this area that I was on a very ske a schedule. It was a full-time job doing all the things I was doing. Um, and you know food and just want to make sure that I wasn't skipping anything for a week that would interrupt my clearing um lo and behold every time I muscle tested it kept saying you're supposed to go you're supposed to go so we went and when I did um they took pictures of my eye and they had it up on a screen and um there were Hooks I can I can answer that part easier. So yes. there's four blue spots in the white of the eye, the sclera. And I said, did you ever not want to be here anymore? Like a death wish. And she, when she tells the story, which you can do now, go ahead. When I asked that, what did you say? Because I still laugh at this. Uh, I was a little bit aggravated, actually, because I was like, if you knew what all I was doing every single day for hours and hours and hours, <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> then you wouldn't accuse me of trying to die because <laughs> uh, I was I was you know, I'm a Virgo, like, uh, that's about healing. Like that's all I'm doing is working on my healing. And, you know, of course, anyway. Um, so he tells me, I want you to repeat after me. I can, and I am. And I just thought that was like, what, how is that going to help? You know, honestly, my, my logical brain was like, okay, I can, and I am. And then he was like, say it again, say it like you mean it. And just asking me to repeat, repeat, repeat. And by the way, she sounded like this, I can and I am. Kind of. Kind of like going this, I can and I am. Forgive me, but. Ish, yeah. ish. Um, also a little bit of nervous, you know, like what is happening? And then it, then the tears started coming down because he told me, put your me into it, really mean it and re mean every symbol. And as I did, I was actually surprised because I was like feeling the, the words and it, it came out in tears and then I started feeling discomfort in my reproductive area so I, I I excused myself went to the bathroom all kinds of stuff came out of me that was unidentifiable I've had miscarriages and um, I've had unidentifiable thing I mean it was identifiable but I'm just saying it was different than that and um my mind at first my, my I heard in my my spirit like that's the C coming out but then I was like no you know just because again my logic brain was like no way it could just come out like that right and so anyway I thought to myself get your magnifying glass and we had them in our pocket because we were all looking at each other's eyes through the class and I hurry up and grabbed it and looked in the mirror in the bathroom and now the spots had these hooks in them that were literally not there minutes before. I mean, minutes, maybe four or five minutes. And I ran out of there and I was like, oh my gosh, Robert, you're not going to believe what just came out of me. And then he made a poop joke. 
I wasn't talking about that, obviously. I didn't know what she, what she had going on. So I, of course, <laughs> I, I did the basic young kid thing. Go ahead. Yes, which, you know, sometimes that happens too, right? You just get release things. But um, mm -hmm. I said, and also look at my eye because it looks different than it did a minute ago. And you said. And, that, and that, so an indicating line comes in, red blood vessel coming in, pointing at the blue spot. And every one of them were hooked back. It's called a shepherd staff or a healing hook. And so, and this is my take on it. And this is, I'm going to sidebar for a minute. The position you are at the shop, crystal shop. I haven't been there. I just, yeah, I believe, hopefully you shared the photo of, if he can talk about or like crystals, I got crystals. I got my own crystal shop. Anyway, and a beautiful, anyway. So I love them. I have ever since I've been a little kid. Anyway. So you are in a position to do what I did for or with Dr. Charnel. I asked her a couple of questions. She had already provided her terrain with all the health it required. She just had not reversed the curse yet. Like let the weak man say, I am strong. So cancer is I've got to and I can't. So you had already done all the work. So I simply said, just say, I can and I am. Say it again, I can I recommend you say it, anyone. Hello. It's I, a good idea right now. I, I can, can and I am. And I, am. I can and I, I am. I can and I am. And by feeling the me, the me self, the meaning in each word deeply enough, she had instantaneous manifestation. So the first three times out, the rational mind's going, what? Like words are going to make a difference. What are you talking about? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Put your me into it. Three, four, maybe five more times. She goes in the bathroom. Cancer could not stand her body. Now, you come to four doctors who all said you're in divine perfect health. Whatever you did, we don't know, but yay. Yeah. So, I mean, I still, the trip to get home to find out for sure and get the results and all that, because I, I was still like in my mind, like what? Um, and not really sure. But when I got the verification, I was just like, it's, it's, Anyway, uh, lots of this has happened with multiple people in many, many conferences that I've worked with him. And we have just seen so many miracles. And he's been doing this way before I connected with him. And he still continues to do it. So he's seen way, way, way more. Um, and we're going to do that tonight. We're going to work with you guys a little bit tonight. Uh, if anyone are, are you interested, um, then whenever that time comes, I don't know what Bob's... Um, time frame is or whatever so what i'm listening to thank you dear and i vote your victory always yes 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 i mean you for, when she did the first video on this i laughed she goes if you she didn't do that when working with me but if she goes if you knew what i've been doing you wouldn't ask me that question if i don't have to die if i had a death wish i mean it was i'm like the, the recount of it was the replay from her was like eighteen thousand times better than the original experience so just sharing that so anyway um the, what I can share with you is I'm listening and I train people. I don't, you know, I'm, I've worked with a lot of people. If you, 55 years, that's how long I've been doing this. 55 years. I'm 11 years old. My family says I'm the oldest two-year-old they know. So mm -hmm, there's that. All right. So, and that's kind of true. Um, I know when I signed on to come to this particular earth, I said, and I'll be having lots of humor too, because it can be really intense. So I like laughing because um, <clears throat> it moves air. It's really good. I call it ha 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 the yoga. It's very nice. All right. So long story short, um, when I do a class and I'll demonstrate some tonight, I build a context of language that it, whenever we go against the law of love, I learned this from Dr. John Ray who taught me about electronics. Whenever we go against the law of love, we suppress our life and we go beyond the ability to remember. Well, that thought, word, and emotional pattern, whatever's going on in the memory gets stored in our body as a crystal. And so the crystal is thought, word, and feel, three-dimensional. And so the individual, like genetic and experiential lineage stuff, mom, dad, all that stuff is stored in our DNA. About the Ricerona thing, just to be aware of this, just added in, scripture, not religion, says a man or woman who offendeth not in word, the same as a perfect person and able to bridle the whole body. So the virus, which is not alive, which is an RNA, RNA, DNA, or DNA encoding is looking for a limited belief system to interact with. 
So what we're going to be sharing is a way to offend not in word or to speak only what we choose to have come into manifestation. So language plays a really important part of everything I do. And all of the symptoms that somebody may have or repeating patterns or body signals or whatever, it may seem like, oh, I've got a problem or I have a disease. There's no such thing as disease. Go look it up. Look at the etymology of the word disease. It means unease. Mm unease and how many of us have thought there's disease there isn't disease there's unease no matter what your modality ease is what to bring on add it to any modality mm -hmm. so think about lifestyle think about i, I can go to crystals because i've loved them but it could be anything it could be color it could be nature it could be harmonious relationships it could be good movies whatever it brings ease and scripture about ease not religion i don't do religion that way it says, you'll know, God says, you will know my grace because it's without effort. Mm. And think about that. Ease and grace are the same energy package. So how many have been, as an example, look, the minute I heard it was going to, there were going to be crystals and that I'm like, yeah, I'm home. I mean, how many have sat with, I have a wall of crystals. I have literally 10 feet by eight feet of crystals somewhere 100 pounds whatever and my my granddaughter my oldest comes in and put them all out she did the best layout ever i mean there's at least maybe a thousand of them different sizes and there i, I came in and it's not even finished i have some boards i have to still uh put poly on or whatever she still put them i'll take them down i'm going i'm not touching it that's too perfect anyway so we're going to be in a place where mother nature is vibrating in high frequency so let, that's to me is going to be with like-hearted human beings. So tonight, well, I'll demonstrate this if you choose, where if somebody has something going on in their body, what I do is I simply, and we vote victory. That's our, it's a requirement, kids. I just, um, and I'm, I'm a kid, so we're all kids. To enter the kingdom, we get to be as hmm, a kid. All right, so um, my invitation is if I demonstrate, and as they demonstrate this, my outcome is, we magnetize those people who can be benefited from this. And I am also finding right now we're taking this. I, my book put it all together. And Charnel has seen my book. And we have a new one coming out at some point. But anyway, um, it people have trained with me forever. And they might have gotten 10% of what I've got. Now it's all in a book on body language, et cetera. It's all right there in your reference. You go to it. So my my students, so people that are remembering it with me, are 500,000 times faster getting it than people that did classes with me for 10 years. So that means the universe has said it's time. And it's time for us to have every tool we require to be made new. So that's that. So um, as we when we do this, I request... If, in person, you'll understand I play it over and over and over again. When we vote victory, and I'm asking you to do it tonight if I demonstrate this, and I mean this, this is really from my heart, this oh, makes a huge difference. When we vote victory, it and I do it, you do it your way, I do it mine, but I, I share, I say to me first, internally or out loud, I am that I am. I am my own permanent victory in the light. I am my own permanent victory in the light. And then who's ever going, who's ever speaking, I am your permanent victory in the light. Now, this is done, obviously, not out loud. But what happens is when we're voting victory and loving and, and supporting that person and feeding them, the fear of being judged ain't going to happen. People feel secure. And it, let's say if some miracle happens and the individual didn't know to vote victory and they might have doubted it for that person or for them, they would get a negative tithe. Instead of sending a blessing, it's been said we keep 60% of what we send out because that's come through us. And then by the law of the tithe, Deuteronomy, minimum, if I bless someone, I get a tenfold return. If I bless someone who's helping someone else, I get a hundredfold return. Well, it sounds great, except that's terrifying to a personality. That's why we haven't been voting victory. If I vote someone's victory, instantly I get a return 10, minimum 10 times greater than I gave. And I will overflow. How many? And Charnel, did, first time you met me, did you cry? Mm. I, I'm going, I'm just talking. 
and people are in you know, the whatever number were there, people are crying. I'm like, mm, why are they crying? Because one individual is speaking from their heart and every heart begins to remember. So please understand coming to your center, whatever real name, you, well, I'm going to call it center, point of light, point of many lights. You literally have the opportunity to ignite light in everyone even before they arrive. Yes. And you might as well get the skill to be able to do this because everybody that comes, you could just stand there going, hey, do you have this going on? They go, yeah. And then well, da, 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 da. and then again, the a prognosis is do you have you've got this going on? That's not what I do. I ask, I don't tell anybody anything when I'm on, when I'm doing it. And so, do you have this going on? When I asked Dr. Charnel if she didn't want to be here anymore, she went, if you knew what I was just kidding. No. But we engaged it and then I completed. I walked up to you and you just say, I can and I am because I knew you well enough. You'd done enough training or whatever. My heart said to, that's why I did it. So tonight we can do the same thing. If you have a body signal, it takes courage. <laughs> and I love her. And uh, that, who's coughing? Oh, I, I don't, I probably hear you. I don't see you. Was it a laugh or a cough? That was me, Joy. Boy. It was a cough. And so Joy, what that means is I reclaim my will. I recommend you say, I reclaim my will. You, you say I'm for me to say it? Yes, ma'am. I reclaim my will. Say it again. I reclaim my will. Say it again. I reclaim my will. And has that been something that's up for you these days? Kind of. <laughs> I, I think would about say, that. And any answer kind of means yes. You know, is the boat sinking not so much <laughs> that means it's still thinking yes so anyway i vote you just know that sort of cough tends to mean diaphragm moved autonomically mm -hmm. so anyway so whoever goes you just it's your choice and please understand i'll be asking questions we'll be voting your victory and we'll see where it goes so if somebody has pain somewhere that's called a static state non-moving if mm -hmm. if the question happens this is for everyone joy just so you know you're off the hook for now you're good um uh, what happens is the individual will start to do things. That is literally the unwinding of the limited belief system and the restoration of some blessing. It's wild. So con let's do comments. How y'all doing? How is everybody? I'm good. All right, cool. I'm just checking in because for me, if I heard all this, I'd be going, don't. Move. You know, if there is anyone who chooses to go, I we do need to see your face. Uh, Lisa's asking; she's she's ready to go. Who, if whenever you're ready. She's yeah, if you, uh, Charnel, you help pick it because I'm like okay. I'm, I'm Lisa, the grinner, you're the picker. Lisa had her hand up. Go for it. All right, where's Lisa? Lisa. All right, my so dear okay. buddy, my bestie. <laughs> and so I, I'm going to ask this once, but if anyone goes, I ask it one time, but it's, it, I mean it for everybody. So Lisa, do I have permission to facilitate you? Yes. Uh, you're muted, I think, or I didn't hear your yes, voice. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, and do I, and do we have permission to see perfection? I heard you that time, I think. Yes. Good job. And do we have permission, because we're all here, to discover with you your greater mission in life. Yes. Now, what she just said, she just gave me a whole bunch of signals, but she went, mm -mm -mm. so everyone <laughs> pressed your lips together. I mean, you ought to see me in this high-end class called Life Upgrade Coaching. So people go up and they don't even sit down yet. And I already know exactly what's up. And they're going, I didn't say a word. You didn't need to. Your body will always give the signal first. So what Lisa just went is like this. So everybody do that and talk. Mm. Huh? Now you're gonna have to. So emotionally, have you been holding back your expression? Yes. Now, how many saw the deep breath that she just took? Uh -huh. How many saw? It? Did you take that breath, or did your spirit breathe you? My spirit breathed me. Now, please, this is sacred, kids. How many can feel? <laughs> I call it ducky bumps, whatever. Her great God self, my words, she uses hers. Just breathed her please get this is always so completely sacred so do you give yourself permission lisa to express 
your spiritual truth. Yes, I do. All right. So what's your, what signal do you have? Uh, just a deep breath. And just no, what do breath. you have going on in your life that's oh. been hanging out? Um, business seems to be going good. Sometimes it's a little slow. So where's your left hand? Um, it's to my left my, with my finger spread. Yeah. Okay, but did you touch lower? I just saw your arm go up a bit. I couldn't see anymore. Did you touch hip or leg or anything like that? No, I just have it on a pillow. Okay, good. I got it. All right. So what the this works best if somebody has a body signal that's up, like a shoulder or leg or whatever. So if you're fully pre can, by the way, congratulations on your business going well. Thank you. You're welcome. And is it time for you to let your spirit express? Yes. And what would you have to give up? Here's what she said. Yes. <laughs> How many is y'all? Yes. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. no. So I have you look at the red. <laughs> Me too, by the way. But I'm using Charnel. Who cries first in class? Uh, you. Me. <laughs> How cool. So I, I mean, I'm, I have five planets in Pisces, whatever that means. Blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, I'm a feeler. So if somebody has something up, I'm going, oh, God, here we go. I don't, still don't like crying in public. So that red was your being shining through. And it's both cheeks. It wasn't just left cheek could be feminine. The cheek shows how we feel, creative feminine. Right side masculine, how we feel on that. Both fired off. So do you give yourself permission to feel secure sharing your truth? Yes. And have you been holding back your spirit in your expression? Yes. So your being said it's time to do what? Express myself, breathe deeply, just let it go. All right. So here's what we just found out. She said, it's time to express myself. What's this is language now. What's missing? I, I express myself. So this individual, Lisa, is giving me the signal to share with her that she has not been home until right this second. What's your goal? Express myself. Who does? Ah, <laughs> uh, I I express myself. And when you hear the ah, uh, this is I have one of these. <laughs> what that means is mm, that's either too much beef or her me self is coming online. Notice red <laughs> again. So just say I reclaim me. I reclaim me. See it? Uh, with did you see it dropped off? Uh huh. Yeah. Did you touch and run just then? Yes. So where'd you run? Voter victory, kids. How many of you are going, I'm not going to move. I'm not <laughs> going to get up there. This is what... <laughs> so voter victory and you'll get yours. That's the word. So dear, look at what's, ha what's happening in your body. What are you feeling? It's heating. Oh, um, you now remember I said it. no high. Now her body is an it. Now say it's heating. It's heating. Who's the it? I. Mm. Do you remember what I said? She will literally confirm this 500 out of 500. Anyone will 500 times is Charnel. You've seen me do this with somebody and they come back. It feels and it's like an, uh, and the, and that. And, and instead of my, mm, that was that sound of, mm, is the me self coming online. What's happening in your body. Um, calm. Notice I do, is nobody home again. Calm. Is that a full sentence? Look at her. Look at her. Oh, no. I don't know. Look, and I, we play it like a game, kids. You all can do it with me. I'm going to do my own version of that. So there's not right or wrong. How many saw her going, shut up. We're, we're, we're you won't get in any trouble. It'll be okay. Uh, yes, dear. So now do you get, ooh, me choose me. Try, say it. Me choose me. Yeah, mean it. Say it again. Me choose me. Yeah, I say yes to me. <laughs> I say yes to me. Say it again. I say yes to me. Now, what you're hearing is I say yes to me. And she drops. So you're going to have to. And this is when I worked with Charnel. I said, put your me into it. So look at her. She's sitting up. She's moving. <laughs> She's being spiritual. She's moving the other cheek. 
the butt cheeks because she's you know coming up all right so now <laughs> vote her victory kids if you're worried about you going just vote her victory and yours will be easy if you go so now do you get oh me claim me me claim me say it again me claim me how many can feel she's landing now yes mm -hmm. now say i say yes to me i say yes to me but notice the me it drops off get a little like go ahead i say yes to me all of me all of me say it again i say yes to all of me i say yes to all of me still drop back i say yes to all of me so i recommit to what I create, I commit to me. Say it again. I commit to me. But each time it's recorded, you'll be able to get this. I commit to me. I commit. So when Charnel did hers, you know, <laughs> I can and I am like, whatever, Bob, like words, are, I can and I am, I can and I am. And finally, I'm going to put your me into it. And they just, I, the more she felt the meaning in each word deeply enough, and it took maybe a few more statements and her body got rid of the I've got to and I can't. So your whole being, instead of the lips pursed together, and I'll, I'll complete it now, I recommend you just say, ooh, my great self breathed me for a reason. Yes or no? Yes. To do what? Breathe me for me. To do what? I commit to me. Ah, beautiful. Good. And there's more, but do you get that's a lot right there? Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you, dear. Voter victory, kids. And I'll, sh yeah, and me too. All right. What I'm one of these, I debrief each time if I can. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? Remember. Um, this helped me to kind of reconnect with my power. I feel like I give it away and I try to please other people. So just by saying this, I commit to me. I feel like I'm not giving my power away. And, and everyone, I feel like language means I feel like is not a feeling. So in, the, in essence, I feel like are the three words of codependence. So how about I co-empower my world? I co-empower my world. Say it again. I co-empower my world. And to do that, first you have to be self-empowered. Yes or no? Yes. Good. self -empowered powered welcome home it's a girl <laughs> <laughs> and anyone else what'd you learn how many got something out of it yourself Tosh is next but yeah everyone i know i i got something out of it mm. all right and, and we can do another uh, sure now you lead how's that <clears throat> i yeah. know how to do this so joanne do you do you choose to go at all I don't want to put you on the spot. You or anybody there working? Yeah, I mean, Tasha wants to go too. I mean, you can do Tasha, but yeah, uh, at some point I'm going. Whether it's when he's. <laughs> I love it. Good <laughs> job, girl. You awesome. still Tasha, well, let's rock rock and roll with Tasha. So, same question: Do we have permission to do to do to do? Yes. Yes. So, what, what's your body's signal? I feel calm. I'm calm. Now. Okay. Do you have anything going on physically? Yes or no? In your world, in your body repeatedly? No. That's it. No. She said no. Do you have any repeating patterns in your life? Yes, lots. Like, I like it. So pick one you'd like to find out more about. I really did enjoy what you did with Lisa, um, reclaiming my power and co-empowering myself is what what I'd like to do more of. And Just say what I would like to do more of. What I would like to do more of. What I would, if I were here, like to do more of. To see all that? Watch this. Honey, will you marry me? I would like to. Okay. Um, tonight, I am. I am. Oh, kick it. She's going on. She's doing the deal. Yes or no? Go ahead. You're awesome. Today, I am co-empowering my world. <laughs> Good. What do you have to give up? Self-doubt. I'm get, I gave up self-doubt today. And then what'd you replace it with? Uh I'm replacing it with me. I reclaim me. What kind of me? Me, me. 
Mimi, <laughs> good. <laughs> and how about my confident self? My confident self. How about I trust and, and doubt? The opposite of doubt is trust. I trust me. Say it again. I trust me. And then what's your name for your creator? God, spirit. Good. So so now, we, and, well, use a simple me too. I just say I trust. I God trust me. God trust me. I God trust me. I God trust me. Because when I say I trust, it might mean my little eyes. So it could be I trust God in me. Try that one. I trust God in me. Say it again. I trust God in me. Say it again. I trust God in me. Say it again. I trust God in me. And then what happens? I am refreshed. And then what happens? I am, I reclaim myself. I reclaim me. I, I, know know she put that, I can't do that head uh, action, but uh, you did it really well. I reclaim all of me. You did the little, yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That, uh, <laughs> that, I mean, when the spirit gets playful is when we know, like when the individual gets breathed by spirit, they didn't take it, they were lifted. And when the person does those kind of maneuvers, that's not a control, rational, am I okay? That's a spirit that's fully in the game. You did that very quickly, my dear. Welcome home. It feels great to be home. Now, what she just gave is her glitch in life. It I feels. am happy to be home. No, say it, wait, wait, just say it feels. It feels. I feel. I feel great to be home. When did you be, when did you finally, uh, when did you give up your I into an it? How old are you? I don't remember. Your heart does. Probably three. Maybe. Okay. And how many get, there's not a right or wrong here. Would you go, so now you've been an it feels all this time. What happens now that you are an I, say I feel. I feel. So make it a, make it a fact. I feel. I feel great. Well, I know there's another word. Just say I feel. I feel. You're doing I feel. You're leaving. I feel. No, I feel. You left. I feel. Ah, say it again. I feel. Nice. Notice you're dropping in. Say it again. I feel. I feel. What's happening in your body? I feel. I feel more certain. More? I feel strong. I, I did. I learned this way back. I do classes in you know preparing for the next year called Victory Goals Achievement. Somebody set a goal one year with me and whatever, and they came back to the next year and she, they said, I, their, in their outcome app, they had, I choose to make more money. They made $1 more. Mm -hmm. That's, there's no real power in more. So I feel what? I feel empowered. Now, is that a, is there, are you wait? I feel empowered. Make it I a fact. feel empowered. Say it again. I feel empowered. Nice. Can you feel what's going on in your body? Yes. What's happening with all your codependent relationships? Um, I don't know. I've set boundaries. So they have all changed. Good. So be it. Really good. It's been fun, dear. Good job. Welcome home. Really awesome. And I'm all warm and everything. Yeah. Too, so yeah. I, don't know. I always say, then when the endocrine system fires off, that's like as a child, when a child has fever, it's, it's burning off, so to speak, the karma of mom and dad. That's what the childhood fevers are all about. So we can go back in and continue to have the, the spirit of transformation or the sacred love of the sacred fire start again in our endocrine system to transmute or transform any old patterns. So the heat is a good thing. And that means your whole endocrine system, pineal, hypothalamus, pituitary, medulla are all working. So. Thank you. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Good job. How'd she do? How many, it was easy to vote a victory. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, notice she yes. bounced a few times. She'd come in and up here. Yeah. I'm and then when she came in land, how many get, Ooh, what would happen if I felt 
my meaning in every word I said. You, we would all have instantaneous manifestation. All right, who's next? All right. Renee. Let's do Renee. Renee? Okay. Hey, Renee. Hey. All right, so do you have a body signal? Symptom, something like that? Uh, like daily kind of thing, migraine. Oh, so yes. And um, first of all, you do the universal stuff first. Do you drink plenty of water? Not as much as I should, no. Yeah, so just know that's the first thing is make sure you have enough water. So why don't we drink water? Cancel clear in the past. Why wouldn't someone drink water? And so I'm not pr programming any of us. It's because water is feeling. And so have you been hesitant or do you have certain feelings that you're terrified of? Certain feelings? Certain Fail emotions. Failure. Okay. So what would happen if you touched fear of failure with love? I don't know. Well, let's try. Say yo fail, yo fear of failure. Yo fear? Yeah, you're talking to it. Yo fear of failure. Yo, <laughs> yo fear of failure. I love you. I love you. I touch and I stay. I touch and I stay. So when fear of failure shows up, it's courage actually pushing it up. Migraine is always there's something I know that I don't want to do or something I'm doing that I don't want to know. So is there something you know that you don't want to do or something you're doing that you don't want to know? I have no idea. I've been having migraines for 20 years now. So what's so good idea to fix them now? <laughs> I would have to. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to well, have 20 years. So now have you been for 20 years? Have you been holding back some aspect brain of your genius? Yes. Yeah, so I guess it would be self-doubt. Okay. So do you get that when you touch your self-doubt with love? and let your self-doubt take the charge off, be okay, just the way it is. But imagine you're working with a three-year-old. Our subconscious is just like a three-year-old. So if you walked in a room with a beautiful little girl who's three years old who had doubt, what would you do for her? Reassure her. Well, what would you do? With children, I just talk to them and it's just, I don't know, I could do children, I could work with kids and I could, Reassure them with so no you problem. Probably, if she really had it going on, you'd probably pick her up, yes or no? Yes. How long would you hold her? As long as I had to. Not as long as you had to. As long as she would want me to, really. Well, how about as long as, long as it took? That's yeah. what you owe you. Breathe. Move air. Everybody voter victory. This is what happens. It's okay. And your being is literally asking you to touch and stay. Yes or no, dear? Yes. Yeah. So just say it's okay. It's okay. I touch and I stay. I touch and I stay. And I breathe. And I breathe. Yeah. And really mean it. I mean, if everyone here just really blazed so she doesn't have any worry about this being embarrassing or whatever, it's a human condition. So just you get your job now is to take care of you like you would that three-year-old. And your own feeling world is just like a three-year-old. That's all there is to it. So do you get the self-love is what the mind has been battling because it's been putting in place self-doubt. So what's the opposite of self-doubt? Trust. How about I trust me? I trust me. Say it again. I trust me. You got to mean it. I trust me. How about I choose to trust me? I choose to trust me. Say it again. I choose to trust me. And when she comes right back up there, this is thriving. So once you trust yourself, do you begin to have ease? Yes. And you're and again, you don't have to put your hand away. Many people. No, I'm just, I keep playing with my hair. That's just. I like, got it. Well, and hair is an antenna. So do you get. You don't have to worry about anybody else anymore. When you love you, you become magnetic to good. Yes? Yes. Now say, me love me. Me love me. Say it again. Me love me. Say it again. 
<laughs> me love me. You know, everyone is the, it's the stupid and the coolest thing ever. Because me, myself, and I, myself, my conscious mind, me, feeling, world, I, great, I, my, I am. But when we say, and when we say me love me, it's right inside the loop. It works. Me love me. Say it again. Me love me. Me trust me. Me trust me. Me love trust. Me love trust. Me trust love. Me trust love. What's happening in your body? I'm burning up, honestly. Yeah. My heart. Well, that, which is cool. She's hot which is cool. Got it. So now do you get that set flame of transformation? Yes or no? Yes. So now do you see your self doubt was like faking you out to the radiant confidence you really are? Yes, I can see that. Yeah. Good. So now I recommit. I recommit. To what? To me. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm notice how easy I ought to be said. I recommit. Breathe, honey. It's okay. Me too. I know those. Uh, oh God, I'm gonna cry. Just say your crying self. Your crying self. You prick. No. You prick. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> but how many know that feeling? Oh God, here you are again. Jay's oh please. So yo crying self. Yo crying self. I touch and I stay. I touch and I stay. I welcome you. I welcome you. Yep. Because just like you would a three-year-old. If a three-year-old's crying, you don't say shut up. You pick them up, hold them. So how long do you hold yourself? As long or need to. Forever. Forever. Forever or forever? Forever. Still bouncing. Forever. Forever. Mm, closer, yes. <laughs> forever. For, good, good. I, me love me forever. <laughs> me, me love me forever. Say it again. Good job. Me love me forever. <laughs> good job. And what'd you get? What, what happened for you? I'll put it that way. Is that a kid? I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I just feel a relief. Mm -hmm. What else? I feel a relief and warmth. Good. Yep. Me warm me. <laughs> <laughs> me warm me. Thank you, dear. And voter victory, kids. That's how we seal it up, so to speak. The debrief helps the person get clear on what might have been happening. Do you get it? So that self-doubt's turning into self-trust, yes? And are you a hot mama when it comes to self-trust? Now, yes. Before, no. That's all. You got it. Now, yes. That's all that matters. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Me hot mama on self-trust. <laughs> You don't have to tell anybody else that. You can just do it on the inner, but that's the way it works. So thank you, dear. So how do you maintain that? Well, first you've got to love it. <laughs> and then the way I maintain my hot mama self, just kidding, is I share with other people. So when every time I say something like me, love me, I'm saying it to me. So I've learned, you know, again, 55 years at this, I have learned the way to transcend my own karma is to serve. I, I bet everybody here gets that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way, the if I can, can stay in the game and help people and not do anything mundane to really serve d deeper and stronger and stronger and deeper and higher and all that stuff, that's the way I stay in the game. Is I, The minute I get a blessing, I make sure I deliver it. I help somebody else get it. I pay it forward. So my particular way, Charnel knows this, is I stay in the game. This is my game. I'm doing all this for me. So that's how I maintain it. And if you were to go through all the tools I have in this system, you know, I wake up, I decree, I choose to make this fun and easy. I recommit, I play 125. There's seven steps in this thing. You do every one of them. You would go, well, now that I, me, love me, and it's been a year, what's new and different for me? I'd go walk through the open door that no man can shut, and I'd start turning on the lights of what my life is like now that I am it. So you don't just have to stand going in the doorway. The in the doorway is halfway in and halfway out. Nope. I mean, like being made completely new, which is the promise. The old self dies only as the new self is engaged. Like Charnel, she had done everything right in terrain and body system and nutrition. And her being was just waiting for her to reverse that 
or like let the weak man say I'm strong, her body was waiting for I can and I am. That's all I had to do. It was the simplest thing ever. And her mind was going, what are you doing? I'm going, okay, sure, whatever. God, leave me alone. What? Mm. And then I can and I can. And then she put her me into it and her body let go of the, I, the, the cellular matter of I've got to and I can't, which is the runaway tissue growth. Yes. And then, of course, she shared. How many people have you shared this idea with? Gosh. Tens thousands. of thousands. Choose to know. Yes. Yes. And that's one of the ways to stay in the game is make sure you help other people get it. So does that help? I mean that really. Like mm -hmm. how do I, and for me, there's a whole bunch of, there's more steps to it than just this simple little shift. So Joanne, do you choose to go now? Yeah, I can. I, I think I'll need one on one work. I don't just think this quick session will <laughs> fix me. <laughs> well, let's just find out what do you got going on. And, and voter victory kids, you heard it. What, do, okay. what signal do you have? The signal will say what we're ready for to ship. That's why I, I go to it. Uh, I have a, a wrist that um, bothers me, like I would have arthritis in the wrist. And All right. I so it hold it up and show me. Right, is, is it right wrist? It, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's funny. I just worked with one of these today or somebody had both wrists. So um, has it been, uh, uh, this is thinking, knowing, and remembering the head torso to the arms is doing moving as the hips legs so have you had uh, an arthritic condition is um where calcium falls out of solution basically it's anger at something so have you have have anger at having to do certain things that you wish somebody else would do oh, <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> maybe a wedding okay. Maybe on occasion. <laughs> you got snorting going on. I'm Hold literally on. sweating on that one. So voter victory, kids. Don't let her off the hook. So, and we don't even have to know. It sounds like everybody else knows what it is. So is it time to forgive this person? I guess. I guess if you guess. I, I guess she goes, I guess. Hell no. I guess no. I guess no. I guess. So hold on. So if you judge or hate, judge, whatever, or even hate or judge your own anger at the person, which is usually what it is, your body will throw calcium out of solution, which is arthritic condition acids. So how about I forgive, just try this out. Say, in voter victory, kids, speed up. I, I forgive for no reason. I, for, I forgive for, I can't even say it. I for, I for, <laughs> yep. I forgive how about I choose to forgive for no reason? I choose to forgive for no reason. Love is forgiving. Love is forgiving. And giving. 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 So your right hand gives out energy in what you're doing and serving. And have you felt blocked by not having the support you require? Without a doubt. That means yes. Yes. <laughs> so now I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And if you watched her, she just went, she did that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did we learn from Lisa? <laughs> Let me get that. So mm -hmm. in my dear, what the key is, you've been punishing yourself because you've had the pain. <laughs> so I recommend I forgive just because I forgive. Say it. I forgive just because I forgive. And whenever arthritis it's authority is fascinating word. So once you forgive, just say, I reclaim my own authority. I reclaim my own authority. And hand in everything I do. And everything I do. And everything I handle. And everything I handle. I go direct to my God, whatever name that you, you use. I go direct to my God. Say it again. I go direct to my God. It's emotional. Yes or no, dear? Super emotional. Yeah. So now, <laughs> and are you running a little from what you feel? Yeah. Just say it's okay. It's okay. Yo running self. Um, right. Get Let it out. <laughs> Go ahead. No, honey, this is, and, and what I'll share with you is, I mean, I always have to do it first. I'm just telling you guys, and I don't want to, I like looking normal. Only I will feel what's going on before anybody else does and go, geez, I won't fix your perfection or whatever. And breathe, honey, breathe, move air. Now say I touch and I stay. I touch and I stay. 
And I forgive my pain. And I forgive my pain. Breathe, move air. Really move some air. And now I, and, and again, anger suppressed, acids are show up. That's arthritic condition. Calcium falls out of solution, builds up a little buildup. So now when you forgive for no reason, say, I forgive for no reason. I forgive for no reason. I forgive just because I forgive. I forgive just because I forgive. Can anyone deserve forgiveness? Can anyone deserve oh, no, I mean, that's a question. Forgive me for that. Oh, I can, 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 does anybody deserve sunlight? Uh, no, yeah. you just have to get in it. Forgiveness it. is already bestowed to all of us. Do you believe that? Uh, I'm supposed to believe that. I didn't I ask you that. <laughs> I, I, and it's all right. You're, where you are is whatever you are. So do you believe, like, do you believe that the universe forgives? Not really. Okay. So <laughs> do you choose to change the universe then? I need to change the universe. Good. So how about start? I forgive myself for no reason. I forgive myself for no reason. Good job. I forgive the universe for no reason. I forgive the universe for no reason. Every crystal you've ever come in contact with, did it judge anyone? No. No. What did it do? It forgave me. Yeah. And it blesses, radiates. Mm -hmm. So is it time for you to turn on your giving nature? I have too much of a giving nature is my problem. All right. I, so how about this? I set my, <laughs> do this. I set my healthy boundaries. What, what did you say? Are you talking to me? This is normal. The person will go, they want, <laughs> the thought form goes, like, that's normal. So how about I set my healthy boundaries? I set my healthy boundaries. I teach my world how to honor me. I teach my world how to honor me. And to do that, you'll have to learn how to honor yourself. Yes or no? Yes. Now, because of the wrist, I do what I love to do. I do what I love to do. And I forgive everything else. And I forgive everything else. And I forgive everyone else. And I forgive everyone else. So are you in the middle of shifting the way you're to do things? Yes. Good. And I empower my world. I empower my world. To do what they say they're going to do. To do what they say they're going to do. So what's happening in your body? Well, my wrist doesn't hurt. <laughs> so I, how about this? Instead of doesn't, my wrist feels comfort. My wrist feels comfort. Say it again. My wrist feels comfort. And charnel has been with me and, and probably done most of this herself. I've had people I work with, they've had the thing. I remember one lady was on phone back in Maestro Conference before Zoom. And she had arthritis for, oh, whatever, 27 years. I remember the date. And I got an email the next day. I'm completely free. And we talked on the phone for five minutes. I mean, on the conference. I mean, others are voting victory and all that, but five minutes. All it took is five minutes to dissolve that crystallization because the minute we touch something with love, love wins. Say, my yeah. love wins. My love wins. Say it again. My love wins. Say it again. My love wins. I ignite forgiveness everywhere I go. I ignite forgiveness everywhere I go. And do you get that's your mission in life? When you when you went, ah, the universe, the whole thing sucks. And all, that's your job. <laughs> yes. And do you have some uh, mineral support from the mineral kingdom of these living crystals? Yes. To help you blaze forgiveness. Yes. And love. Yep. Awesome. Yep. yep. I bought your victory. My wrist actually looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> You come home with me. <laughs> you did good. And remember, just have it already be done in your world. Just see your world new. That's your job, my job. Okay. And the, yes, Charnel, does it work? When we see somebody new, are they new? Yes. When we change in ours, we change everything in our whole world. There is nobody separate from us. There's only one of us. When we give it to us, the whole world gets it. So I vote your victory, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm going to say that's it. I believe we did good tonight, though. Yes, Charnel? Yes. So anyway, what'd you learn tonight? There's systems in here. Everybody got that? That's what I share. So if I'm going to go, all right, now this is going on and they'll know. And by the way, I restore my blessings. Now I do oh, say it. I restore my blessings. 
I restore my, my blessings. She went right to her left shoulder and said, I restore my blessings. I restore my blessings. I receive support. I receive, I receive support. support. Say it again. I receive support. I receive support. support. Notice that's the dynamic version. Your body is starting to put signals in of blessings that are coming online now. So did, did you touch and run a little bit again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not wrong me too honey will you marry me mm -hmm. would you be satisfied <laughs> no i can and i will just say i can and i will i can and i will this is i can this is i will this is i can and i will this is forget them about it this forget is remember them. about it so, <laughs> so i can and i will so now your body is giving you all these great signals yes or no yes so now and this is what in all uh, Imagine being in a room where I kind of let a person off the hook and then they get the next signal. They literally walk forward, turn the lights on in the mansion of their victorious life at the next octave of their being. Yes. Yeah, so with permission, I can and I am what? I can and I will what? I can and I will what? What? Forgive. Yes, ma'am. And walk in freedom. Yep. <laughs> And, and instead of a walk, how about I walk with ease and grace? I walk with ease and grace. And I restore my blessings. Stay with that because it's really big. I restore my blessings. Yes, ma'am. I let my blessings in. I let my blessings in. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You're it welcome. Awesome. 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 Well, I know that's just the time is up for Bob as far as uh, what he was able to give us this evening. Um, and I just want to remind everybody, he's going to work with every single person. If you go to the workshop, you're not going to get skipped over. <laughs> this is Well, and also one person gets worked with and everybody else comes up. Yeah. So, you know, it, you can just be sitting there and move right up scale, right? You know, there's only one of us here. So, yes. And especially, let's say if we have a hundred people or whatever. That's true. When yes. I, when I first did, I did, remember doing a class like this in Sedona, it was SSAAC, self-sabotage assessment clearing. And instead of the 30, which is what we're going to have, we had 150. Oh. And so what I did is I just did some <laughs> examples and I had one person lead that everyone moved up scale. So the terror level got much lower mm. And the results got much higher that way. So just know, you know, it, it, this is always by choice. And if you're in the room, you're going to move up scale. Voting victory alone will create, like, again, the 10, 10 times greater return from what, oh, she did it again. That was I can. So now yeah. I can what? I can what? Yeah, I can what? I can. I can forgive. Yep. I can't him. Oh, my no. key. I can, but your body's going, I can do it. How about God, I, God in me forgives? Try that. God in me forgives. Now she just went like that. That means I make a new choice. Just say I'm a forgiveness machine. I'm a forgiveness machine. And who's the, who, who's, this is the dynamic portion. Who benefits by you forgiving? Me. Yeah. I, I do. Yep. So you do it for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now say yes. Yes. Now this is where I, I say yes to me. I now where your hands go? In her lap. They were like, did, did you touch a knee? It, both of them. So I'm, knees are forgiveness <laughs> and partnership. What? No, are you talking to me? I me too, honey. I do the same thing. <laughs> knees are forgiveness and partnership. How about I partner in a new way? And look at I know I'm itching now. <laughs> and, by the way i'll share this i've had people come up to me privately going hey do you release fleas in the room uh, no no what is, and they're going because it's all over that means the person starts feeling i mean they meant it they they were literally saying do you release fleas in the room so no I don't, i'm feeling like i'm yeah. now say i love what i feel i love what i feel i feel what i love i feel what i love i love what i feel I love what I feel. I feel what I love. I feel what I love. Because you're landing back in your temple of the most high living God. Yes? Yes. And this is all yeses. So your yeses are 8,000 to one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Yay. Thanks for having such a great team, Dr. Charnel. I'm so, this is my first tour in three and a half years. Wow. 
and I've been on tour every year for 50 some years. I mean, you know, for 10 months sometimes. So, <sighs> yes. And so he will be in Baton Rouge the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Um, the intro is Monday night, the 17th. Um, if you know people who are kind of like, I choose to know if I'm going to do the whole thing or just one night, that's the only night that there will be a night. And that one is $15. If, if anyone just choose, chooses to kind of um, get someone's baby toe in the water and see how they feel if they didn't get to go to the Zoom. And maybe we can do another Zoom um, before that, just like to invite some more people. Um, and if you choose to do the whole thing, it's only 20, the 222 covers the whole thing. So you have choices here on, on how to do it. And I also, my children have been through this. They, this is a good thing for kids. Um, obviously certain age, uh, I know it's during school and, but a lot of people are homeschooling and what have you too. If you have teenagers, I guess I'm thinking of Christie's daughter and whoever, this stuff, I mean, there's so many kids who have gone through the program and yeah. to equip the kids and the teenagers to do this, we have seen amazing, amazing results, like schools changing and what have you. So um, I'm really, you know, don't leave the kids out if you choose, if there's a kid issue, just bring them, you know. Um, and I don't, I choose to know, Joanne, do you have any other announcements as far as whatever? Um, so we will have this replay to where we can yes, share. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to give it to you to send to your your people, and they can watch that as well. Um, but I think that's it, except for I just wanted to show you my dog. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> What's your name again? This is little Sophie. Oh, it's so Sophie. adorable. Oh. I wanted to give a shout out for Bob. There was a you know not not to have any names here, but there was somebody I knew and. Um, we were in a group text and this person went through some horrific stuff and she said Bob's training and Bob's work was the thing that really stuck and really helped her. There was nothing else that helped her but what the teaching and training she had with Bob. So uh, thank you, Bob. This work is, you know, like no others. And I, I really love you and appreciate you. And thank, thank you for coming around again. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, really. Me too. Thanks for being here. Right. Because I've been through some yeah. stuff. And what I'll share with you is it's all a system everybody can do. Yep. Notice it's something you can do. And the class starts the first evening, even though that's a, uh, a sample, toe in the water, whatever, that's when the class starts. I, that's orientation, but it'll be the beginning of the class. So if for me, anybody coming for the whole thing, make sure they're there for that. So Yes. So Charnel, we'll start uh, printing flyers and putting it in people's bags as they shop, uh, just to make sure everybody is the way our yes awesome. i mean we send out but you know i don't know that it's as effective but we'll start handing that out erica mm -hmm. yes. yeah awesome well wow. and do you give permission for me to hold some crystals when i come yes i do, <laughs> do you know, i have some people go can i touch your crystals <laughs> yes you can touch my crystals i'm not <laughs> one of those that no you know it's like they're God's crystals. I just take good care of them. Don't put them in your pocket. But other than that, yes. Anyway, <laughs> unless you need to. All right. Thank you all, Charnel. I love you. Uh, love you. Hey. Family and your family. Yes. And by the way, is it the coolest thing ever to be a grandparent? Yes, it is. It's so it fun. Is, it is the coolest. It's it, just, it I is. It's I told so my daughter when she had her first, my first grandchild, I said, you know, we have a great relationship. Her name is Divinity. And I said, Divinity, I just started half of it. You know, you know, I really love we got a great relationship with your daughter. I didn't have to finish. And he goes, yeah, I know. She knew how much more love was present somehow. I mean, I, I didn't have to say a word. She just knew right away. Yeah, I know. Wow. So I'm watching you and your, your mom. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I just, I, I love it. So each of you, the three-year-old inside of all of us, gets to play together i'm looking forward to it yes so. and mom is going to come so that's good she'll Great. be there so Great. love you guys we'll see you please spread the yes. word and i know we have people in this community that will can really require this and let's mm -hmm. have a shift together as a collective in this area and really make a difference and um you can use this in any 
job that you have. If you understand body language, conscious language, you can help upgrading in every field that you're in. And I mean, so this is a, an amazing tool as a human, as a parent, as a wife, as a husband. This is, I'm telling you, um, it's awesome. So love you guys so much. Thank you Thank for you your all. time. Great this you. Evening. Thank Bye. you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Talk soon. You. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>